Hello, what is up guys? Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and today I have a video on the best long shot takers in FIFA 13 Ultimate Team. Also, I wanted to say last episode did great. Thank you for the support on that video. There was a lot of comments though in the, the video saying why isn't Perlo, Mikkeli or Honda? Why aren't they in the top 10 free kick takers? Because they have higher um, stats than the players I was mentioning in that video. But that's where I need to explain it in more detail. The statistics I'm giving you in these videos are the base stats of the players. So for example, if Perlo has 87 free kick accuracy on his base stat, his in-game stat might have 89, 90 or even higher. And it all comes down to the morale and chemistry in your team that gives him that boost. So the players I'm about to show you and the stats I'll tell you are their base stats. Um, so if, if someone has 90 long shots, they could have 94 or something like that in a game with chemist full chemistry and full morale. The way I will order this uh, ten, top 10 long shot takers is by first taking their long shot stat. If that is equal to someone else's, then I'll go by shot power. Um, it only makes sense. Um, if they're also equal on those on those two statistics, I will pick depending on their overall statistic uh, or overall rating. Um, so okay, so now moving into the top 10 long shot takers, all of the players I'm about to mention have the long shot trait. So I'm just you know I'm going not going to say it for every player. Um, you'll just have to remember. In at number 10 spot, we have Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard has 88 long shots, 90 shot power. He also has additionally the long pass and driven free kick trait. Next in at number 9, we have this, a centre back actually. His name is Dennis Colodin. He has 88 long shots and 91 shot power just in front of Lampard there with one more shot power. He also has the driven free kick trait. In at number 8 spot, we have the newish Arsenal signing Lucas Podolski. He also has 88 long shots, 91 shot power, but I put him in front of Dennis Kolodin because uh, he has a lot better attributes elsewhere like balance and vision uh, that could possibly take part in taking a long shot. Podolski also has the weaker foot uh, trait or avoid weaker foot trait, which isn't a bad trait. It's just you've got to remember he will always shoot with his left foot or pass. Moving into the number seven spot is Hulk. He has 88 long shots and 92 shot power. Hulk also has a speed dribbler and flare trait like a typical Brazilian would have. In at number 6 spot is Steven Gerrard with only 88 long shots but a smashing 95 shot power. He has the highest shot power in the game. He also has a playmaker, leader and long passer trait which makes him an ideal captain for your midfield positions. Um, in at number 5 spot is Tony Cruz. Cruz. He has 89 long shots and 85 shot power. Although there is an informalist version of the player, um, with his standard stats is still a very good player. He also has a playmaker trait In the number four spot is Robin with 89 long shots and 86 shot power He also has a speed dribbler and avoid weaker foot trait Moving into the top three at number three is Costa with 89 long shots and 91 shot power He also has the playmaker finesse shot and driven free kick traits in at the second spot uh, Not far off the first is Quagrialera Quagrialera, sorry there is an also an informed version of this player uh, with a lot better stats, but he has 92 long shots and 92 shot power. He also has the finesse shot trait. Okay, last but not least, in at the first place position, we have Cristiano Ronaldo with 92 long shots and 94 shot power. He also has the flair, speed dribbler and driven free kick traits. Um, just another reminder about the players I just read out. They all have the long shot taker trait and the stats I just read out are all based on the the player's base stats which are different from those in game with full morale and chemistry. So thanks for watching this video on the top 10 long shot takers, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like me to do a top 10 on another attribute or statistic then let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see more of these videos then subscribe to my channel and don't forget to rate the video before you leave. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you later. Sorry if I'm not saying it exactly right, but he goes and headers the ball into the back and at this point in time I was thinking 90th minute, all I need to do now is wait for that whistle to blow, he gets a corner, it uh, gets cleared out and then it gets a lucky touch, you know, that's that's a touch that can go horribly wrong for him or it could just go and line him up perfectly for a shot, which it did. And uh, yes, I am very mad at that game because, you know, I was in the, in the lead, I deserved it.